Okay. I think we're alive. All right. Welcome back to Dissension. I'm just working on some UI elements for the map right now. So what we have right now is that all these circles will spawn in. They'll pick up the detect towns, cities, uh, points of interest, all that kind of stuff. You can see now that the circles are there, but they're very faint. So all I'm trying to do today, this might be a short stream, is get, well, the circles to, as I move my mouse closer, for them to go to full color and display some information. So that's what we're working on today. And also, of course, I incorporated some other UI elements. And hello, Jonathan. I incorporated some other UI elements for interacting with the, the world. So we have this thing where I can open and close doors just by my mouse button, uh, getting inside vehicles and all that. It can be all done through this quick UI system instead of having to fumble about, uh, you know, any kind of... Oh, I don't have my medical system in here yet, but fumble about anything. You can just easily interact this way or slowly open the door up like that. Uh, let me make sure it works fully. So we're going to go ahead and throw down just a car. Strider will work. Yep, you can see I can get into the vehicle's inventory through this. Access my own inventory. I can even just quickly tell it just to throw me in anywhere. Or I can decide what I want to get in. I think he's just going to be able to change from inside the vehicle. Okay. So we got that in there. So my goal is to make this as smooth as possible. Uh, smooth the world as possible to interact with, right? Alright, so let's get on to the actual code. So we have getting in vehicles quickly, interacting with... Oh, yourself in a lot of the ways really quickly. I don't have my medical system in yet. Okay. Double checking. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull up some code. So we don't need this. We need this. Okay. So what I have so far it's not perfected yet is now we have the system that follows, we get a box that follows the mouse dynamically. It's not constantly recreating anything, it's just forcing it to move to follow the mouse. And when you close out your screen, it goes away and you open it and it comes back. So very basic, but now what we need to do is as I get close to one of these grids here, I want it to light up. Um, that's going to be my goal. Hey, Matrix A. It's going, man. I hope you guys are all doing good. I am just doing some coding before I head into work. Let me go ahead. Okay. So right now I'm able to grab the mouse position. So I can, so I can take a 2D coordinates, so from wherever my mouse is, I can actually grab the world position underneath that. As it's moving around, it's constantly doing that. And so now what I need to do is check what the closest town, city, or, or whatever it is. Um, and that's what we will be doing. So, I take a look at my map markers, how to find them. Okay. And I think to make this even a little bit easier, we're going to define these flagpoles. We're going to give them some special flag I for flag info. Some special uh, variables that will just sit in the server. Um, the server can pull in. Now these would need to be public. And, okay. Do I want to do that? Um, yeah, I think that's going to be definitely okay. Won't be too many, so I think it's going to be just fine. So we're going to set a variable. We're going to have to back out and reload in. So what we're doing here is 
when the map gets populated, these these flagpoles spawn in each town. They are obviously the simple objects, and they're actually invisible or underneath the ground, so you can't even see them. And they don't take hardly any resources. And they are kind of a place for AI to understand where towns are located at. And so that's what I mean, and they're useful for us to pull information from as well. So right now we can pull, right now we're just pulling the name of the location and the, essentially the size of it. So we need to do, let's go through this. And every time we define something, We want to go ahead and set that up here. And this will get more varied and specialized as we go on. Like any information I need saved can just go right into here, which would be great. That way I don't need to do a bunch of heavy complex calculations. Okay. So we save that, we reload now. I could have just executed the script again, but you can see as soon as we get the map screen, it was generating everything we need. This will eventually be put behind a load screen to even make it faster. Uh, but I'll be worrying about that later. Okay. So now, with this code right here, what we're going to be doing is we get the position. We need to be constantly checking for the closest, the closest flagpole, right? So we have in our map markers, we just throw them all in a giant array called flagpoles, right? So if I hint this, it should, hopefully. Yep, give me a list of a whole bunch of those simple objects that I can now pull information from. And so we're going to need the flagpole arrays. This has a list of every objective, point of interest, everything that we may, may, may want. And so we're going to do now, well, I think I realized, we also need to set the marker in this flagpole array as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do a simple replace all. So I need, I, if I can just have the marker in here and I can edit that marker, then it should be all the information we need. I need the markers that are tied to the flagpole. Replace all. Unfortunately, we just have to back out one more time. Vindicta faction to a Vindicta has a faction selection screen. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I have an idea for that matrix. That's kind of funny you brought that up. So, um, when you very first host a mission, or like say you're not loading in a saved one, it's going to pull up all the units that you have loaded in mod wise. And then the first time you go through there, you tell it which units you want it to use. Um, now there's only going to be three sides, west, east, and resistance, but then you'll get to decide which which side those units get to go to, because you can't add multiple like factions, right, to Arma. It's really rigid. So, hey Tyler! So you'll be able to, well the way I imagine it is, you load in to the game, a box will pop up, and if there's no, if there's an admin, he gets to pick what units, so it'll pop a list of like, you know, vehicles, like vehicles, infantry, aircraft, and then you get to pick which side they go to. And then it's going to save that for that game until you restart. Yes, the Ascension is going to be able to go on any map. Uh, it's completely like you just copy and paste it into a folder, it'll just go automatically. Um, so it's nothing is pre placed in the editor. Absolutely nothing except for the players. That's it. Uh, so then. With this system, then you know, if, and if there's an admin, they get to pick. If there's just no admin players, they get to vote. They have to click on one, and then it'll throw in units like that. Or and there could be a preset option 
Uh, that, that system will definitely take a little bit of time, but that's very important. Then you can just pick which units you want to use that way. Yeah, as long as the map is correctly configured, it'll have to obviously be a, a decently sized map. Um, okay. So we have this, and I have a custom command that I created that's a little bit more efficient than Bohemia's for... Where is it? Finding the closest object or something. Let's pull this. So now what I want to do is we have this here, which pulls in the location and the world of our mouse, right? And so we have a position here. And we want to figure out which flagpole is the closest to our mouse. Now, I'm going to try this, and let's just see if it works. Um, let's see if I get an error. That's okay. And as you can see here, the bottom left is picking the closest sign closest town really right so as I move now we're cooking so now I can figure out which closest sign is to whatever the cursor is closest to now what I want to do is not make it so like if you're way out here it always has information pulled up I want to make it so if you zoom in on a town and you're within the circle that it highlights it and pulls up the information so there's a couple more steps we need to do oh nice yeah, I think that's going to do that, and I probably, I'm still going to probably use a metric that's really cool. I love World War II, and, and Arma works really well, as long as the mod is, like, well done. Um, I am going to be, <laughs> the arsenal is my biggest issue, I figure out how to remove or take things into the arsenal. I might need a custom arsenal, so you can even pick which weapons you want in the game. Um... That is for sure something I need to figure out, but that's um, all that stuff will get figured out for sure. Okay, so let's figure out now though. Private closest town. Now let's do the closest objective because it could also be just be POIs. That's pulling. Is going to be this. Okay, and so we want to do a check is. This actually needs to be the town or objective info is going to be closest objective get variable. This is where we're going to be pulling when we first create them all in the beginning, we're pulling the variables now. This one exactly here. So you can see exactly what we're pulling. So we're, we're pulling that, those. Name, size of the circle, of this, the radius of the circle, and the actual marker. So then we can go objective info params to objective name to uh, marker radius. We'll do marker. Okay, so now we pull the necessary information, and then we can do stuff like this. So if uh, the current mouse position is less than, um, sorry, this is 2D to the flagpole, is less than the radius, then we can display information, right? So, system chat, we are close. So this, if this works right, it should be, if I put my mouse inside the circle, it should send me that message. You can see the bottom left. I'm outside of it, we're not getting it. If it gets, gets inside the circle, now we're getting it, we are close. Outside the circle, and it should be actually pretty exact. No message, and as soon as I get inside of it, yep. Here, close. So what I want to do, see this little test box? I need to remove that until I'm actually inside one. And so what we can do, 
Let's get that working first. As we are going to let's see, control hide. I think it's control hide. What is it? Hold on. Control. Yeah, so I want to do that. Now, I've never touched Arsenal, made a custom Arsenal before. So that's going to be fun. Oh, it's Control Fade. I thought there was a Control Hide. Okay, we'll just do Control Set Fade Zero. Yeah, so I want to do even a uh, definitely a, a custom arsenal that you can all that and stuff in the beginning that you can set and save it to a file even and have it you know have presets that you can have selected. Shouldn't be too difficult the presets and the saving all that. Um, I think I can't remember if fade zero is visible or fade one is visible. We're gonna find out real quick. See, I'm just doing this on the fly, so I'm copying and pasting and running it every time. Okay, I got it reversed. Um, that would make sense. And we can even do make it look kind of nice if you really wanted to. Well, let's see how actually will that work. I don't know. See, it's like, as I go in there, it fades in. As I go out, it just instantly goes away. So you can see, you can kind of add a little bit of nice effects to it here. And as we enter all these towns, you can see that it's picking them up, each one, which is great, even the small POIs. Now, let's change the test to the actual town name. Uh next step right so we don't need this we know it's working because that and one thing that we need to do I think right away we need to fade this because we create it um, here but it doesn't I don't want it showing up until you actually start moving your mouse okay and I also want to do a zoom level so like if you're zoomed way in I don't want this showing up see how it's showing up even when you're zoomed in I want this to disappear when you're zoomed in and zoomed out. Then I want it to go. But we'll worry about that in a second. So we are going to it should be as simple as plugging in or just like that. I think that should actually just do it. Let's give it a try. Yep, so you can see now we actually have an objective name. Welcome back. Holy fucking meeting. That was a nice meeting. I am streaming yeah. right now, just so yeah. you know. Some armor stuff. Good. Yep, I guess I'm you're about to say it on YouTube. I guess you're about to see, uh, no, I don't have say YouTube anything topic. private that you want the world to know. You got it. <laughs> doing some work before I go to work. How many viewers you got? Oh, like seven, man. Ooh. But I got what I wanted to do today already done. Sweet. Okay, now I need to make the marker. It's your YouTube, homie. Oh. Get it for you. So I'm really interested to see where VCOM goes. I'm working on Dissension right now, but Ooh. definitely have some work for VCOM I need to get done, though. I'm just working on UI stuff. So I have it right now as you uh, 
I'm cleaning up the map a lot, making it, yeah, yeah. Can do as much as I can to make it, bring it up to date. So I just scratched everything and starting over. I think that fade yeah. in is a little too slow. So this little menu here will have eventually number of AI in the town or defensive posture, all that stuff. Let's make the marker actually highlight now. So what we're going to do, and this one actually might be a little bit more tricky. Let's see. Hey, what is it? I thought it was marker. A oh, set marker. Oh. Let's see how that goes. Let's do uh, six. Hey, Matt. Hey, Dad. I'm streaming right now for a few more minutes, so you know. Really? What? Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving for a few more minutes? Why? Well, Why? I got work, man. Why? No. Quit. Quit? Are you going to pay for all my monies? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Um, I'll quit today. Okay. Okay, so here's a bug. You can see it's kind of working, but if I leave too quick, they get stuck. Um, so I'll need to add a special handler for that. This is already looking much better, so you can kind of look it around. Streaming. I'm streaming on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So you got some uh, questions in the comments. Genesis, do you plan on making uh, the enemy units somewhat persistent? For example, you will see the same vehicle as before in the enemy location. You see the same vehicle? Yeah, they're going to be completely simulated. What's this YouTube thing? So... Yeah, they're going to be persistent. I think they probably won't be persistent. Well, yeah, as long as they're new drug? cashed, it'll be simulated even through science. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just basically totally heard miserable. Of this they cut you off randomly. Okay, so if this is going well, I think um, this is definitely going to get a lot more information on here next, so I can do things like vehicle range, this is a POI, this is a city, this is a town. This is a YouTube channel name thing, you bob It's in the... I put in... Put in chat. Put a link in there. I'm almost done you with it, it though. Oh. I did what I wanted to do today. Where's the chat? I don't see. I just wanted to. You don't see chat. Are you blind? Yes, I am, sir. <laughs> oh, why are you being so respectful about it? Okay, let's see if we can fix this bug. Um, so let's... Are you no longer live? No, I'm live. No, I'm live. <laughs> I don't know how to get to it, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, let's do this. We're going to create We're going to make it so it's just constantly checking. We also want to know if admins could manually customize Arsenal, Blacklist, Whitelist, for example, nothing no. to use CSAT. Yeah, I would love to do that. I uh, just need to figure out how to mess with Arsenal, because Arsenal is a very scary thing I've never touched before. I might be able to actually blacklist things now. And this gentleman would like to work on a World War II version of Dissension CTI. I think that should be really cool. That is a Matrix Sky. I'll fix this one bug and call it good for today before I 
Give me some food. This is a boring game. Who watches this? Crap? Is this I know that's what I always say. Who watches this crap? But apparently some Are people you like playing it. this on DOS. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, I was, I don't get it. I don't get it either. People are like, "Are we enjoy it?" I'm like, "Okay, I don't have my music going is the problem." So usually I have some music going. Oh, uh, dude, you you need the tunes. I get that royalty free music. That's perfect. Perfect. That's perfect. Hey, I fixed my bug. I can s highlight sounds. Yeah. Can I just go YouTube strike? YouTube. <laughs> Is that, is that even copyrighted? <laughs> oh no. I'm literally everywhere. Everything is copyrighted. I have this yeah. one music that I always use that I can't remember where I got it from, but it's like a two hour thing, just random ass music. Oh, dope. But. Oh my god, I remember those CD rips they did in like the early 2000s mm. where it'd just be one continuous CD. Not, not that I ever pirated anything when I was in the military, because that's just wrong and un-American. That is very, that was so wrong. You were in the military? Uh, yeah, the Coast Guard. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank me for my service. <laughs> that's right. Okay. This is actually you know, pretty slick. It was pretty hard working for the DMV. Ah, that is hard. I mean, dude, it, it would at least be half an hour before I'd get my next break. It was brutal. I'm going to go poop. I'll be back. Enjoy your poop. I think I am done with this as far as I wanted to go today. So I got... Oh, well, let me see if there's a way you can detect how far zoomed in you are, because I don't want this popping up and you're trying to actually do stuff on the map. You have to zoom out to get it. Uh, does Army even have a way to do that? Probably not. Bum, bum, bum. Control map scale is that? Change the current scale of the given map control. Sweet. And look, there's code right there for me and everything. Let's see if this works. Da da da. Okay. Let's see if this actually returns scroll. Wow, it does. So how far zoomed out should you have to be for this grid to open to show itself? Like point higher than point two maybe? So right when the terrain changes like that. So that is point one eight. Point six. Higher than point one eight. Okay. That's pretty neat. That was easy. So we can do things like that scales bigger than zero point one eight. Actually. Just exit the entire 
Event handler? Probably. Let's give it a try. You're looking at town, you zoom in, and bam, it's stuck on your screen forever. It's ruined. That's <laughs> pretty good. Is that a soundboard you have? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. That should be easy to do, though. Get the closest position. Wrong. Wrong. Okay, I think that's good progress for. Before I go to Wrong. work. Wow. That is rude. So if you zoom in, it gets rid of it. So it goes back to the... So it doesn't get in your way. So you can draw on your mat. Like, we're going to go over here and die. And then you can zoom back out like a shit. That works. Yeah, you got to have fun with this shit. I love it. So should I actually invest $150 to get a legit soundboard? Of course you should. Fucking dope. The question is, would you have fun with it? That's what matters. Oh, dude, I'd have a blast with it. Oh, I gotta ban this Jocker guy. I would definitely ban Jocker. He looks like trouble. Oh, God. Is there someone? Hey, it's... Oh, it's Sully. I haven't seen Sully in forever. What? Silly, why aren't you not... Why are you not coding? Slacker! <laughs> He's a slacker. Silly, uh, he did the, uh, the Dissension tablet. The oh, nice. One. Thank yeah, you, dude. That's him. I'm going to be reusing it, but kind of re redoing it, unless you want to do it, Silly, unless you want another, uh, <laughs> another job. I can't say I could give you lots of money if that was a problem. It's weird. Dude. 11 years of degen development. Wow, Jack. <laughs> Alright, I think that's uh, there's one last bug I want to fix and I'm calling it good. Um, let's reset this back to 0.1. Point one. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, there 
guess they're still somewhat visible on the map. That pops real nice. Yeah, that way it's not overwhelming with all the circles on the map. Yeah. And then you can still get information. So that eventually this, it has a name right now, but it'll have a, a lot of more information about who owns it. Uh, oh, nice. Just mouse over? Yeah, just mouse over. Who owns it? What resources is it going to give? All that kind of stuff will be right so, in there. So instead of having a bunch of markers on the map and it's confusing, you can just hover over it and it'll tell you. And I can probably do something similar to like if you want to see what your side resources are. You can probably put it in the tablet or like just open up and you put your mouse like near you or something. I can, you can do all sorts of things. Pops up with information, but... And this is only active when the map is open, so you don't have to worry about frame rate issues with that. It's, it's armor, too. There's always going to be frame rate There's issues. always frame rate yeah, that's true. We could run this on a cray and still have freaking frame rate issues. <laughs> Where's. I want to test. Something. Is there a ladder? Can you put AI in a half top, half height wall box and have him get out of it? I'm not running VCOM right now, but you can. So I think I'm right. Am I running VCOM? Oh, I am. I'm running the mod. Is it active? Oh shit, it is running. Wow. Let's see, let's do... hundred percent chance I'll try to use enhanced movement. We can try. It's sometimes really, really, really finicky how, when they use it or not. I often find that sometimes they still path around. Well, let's give it a try. Make sure debug mode is on. Yep, okay. Oh, I gotta walk through. I gotta walk through and I gotta walk through. I'm not supposed to do that. When you spawn objects in, sometimes they don't really see them. This is a, such a known arm issue. So that green arrow should be hitting it and telling them to hop over it, but for some reason, it's not hitting it just well enough. When it turns red, that's when they're going to use it. It's supposed to. Or considering using it, I mean. This is an issue that's got to get fixed. Actually, I should never test this on Tanoa before. Can you? Oh, you just climbed on top of it. And they're hopping the wall, no problem. Yeah, they can. Yeah, definitely needs some more love. It doesn't, with placed objects, it doesn't work as well as I've noticed. Oh, I'll just go around. Yeah, yeah, so we're on machine parts. We're on machine parts? What the yeah, hell is this guy doing? A new computer. Oh, a new computer. you're getting a whole new computer? I didn't know that. 
perfect. Who goes there? You want to know what happens if you're too close to the edge of the map? Does it move to move the info to text control? Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Uh, if you're too close to the edge of the map, does it move it to text control? That's a good question. I don't know if it'd be. I guess there's like a map as a town right on the edge. You know, it would probably just be off screen, like if you were like like this. I'm too too far zoomed in here. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, it just goes off screen. I think that's what he means. Just goes right off screen. So you'd have to adjust your map. I'm glad your poop is doing good, Matt. <laughs> Yes, well, yeah, I just, uh, I still use your old, the tablet you made before, but there's a couple things I was thinking just to fit this inch, I was going to change it up, but if you want to work together on that, I'm not going to say no, or if you want to mess with the arsenal, <laughs> but, uh, I think I'm going to get me some food, and I got work to get going to here in a minute. Yeah. So you have me on uh, Discord and Steam, I think. Oh, so go ahead and you can send messages there. If mouse pause X is greater than 0.9, then move the box over. That's a good idea, Sully. Sully's got an idea. That's a really good idea. Now he's going to make me try it, which this is not going to go well. This is your fault, Sully. You want a hard cut off, dude? Go get some chow and go uh, Yeah, I do need to get some chow. I have like another hour to chill and I want to eat and chill, but now I'm going to... Don't worry, she eating. So you'd have to do... Oh, but wait. This will be real fast. Just one more. Just one more. One more like ten minutes to get to work, but if you keep doing one more, <laughs> you have to do it for the left top and bottom as well. Oh wow! All right, let's just do the one side. Let's see how that goes. Just one more. Oh, you're right. You have to constantly do checks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna eat up cycles. It's gonna eat up. Yeah. That's. You're right. I don't, wanna, I don't have time for that right now. Well, you can have it do checks like every, you know, second, second and a half. That is true. Yeah. You just have a pole. <laughs> I'm not going to even make this look nice. I'm just going to test uh, something stupid here. Oh, that's the live position. This is my, my two second changes. Oh no, I didn't do it right. I'm a failure. Explosion. Because I edit the change. Oh, wait a second. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Okay, that's like 1.9. I'd have to get the safe zone of it. Okay, that makes sense. Or something like that. So we meet me some T-Lamb D's to shoot off a fucking cruiser. 
missiles? I'm what now? Uh, Tomahawk missiles with cluster munitions. With. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, okay. I'm calling for offshore strikes. Do it. That kind of works. I That's what you're saying. That's cool. Okay. But obviously make it better. <laughs> yeah, right now, silly, it's on... Uh, this is on a mouse move event handler, so it works pretty well. But hit me up in Steam or something, man. Atomic. I'm going to go get some food, and i got to go to work. Nice to see you again. Thanks for that. That's a really good idea, making it flip. I think I can incorporate that. There's a lot I still have left to learn. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Okay. I am